Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome to uh, Space Engineers. So, I've had this game for a while, and uh, I just want to show you guys some stuff. So, I got a realistic survival multiplayer um, game going. Uh, it's never multiplayer, because nobody's ever on. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got here, some of my settings. So, I've got it set to realistic, um, just because that's how I like to play. Um, the game's not too difficult right now. There's not a lot to do. Um, there's a lot to build, but there's not enemies or anything. So, the best way I could find to make it a little more difficult is to put it on realistic. Um, yeah, cargo ship's on. You want these on because it gives you something to do if you're a single player. But this is multiplayer, but like I said, nobody ever comes on. Um, anyway, let's get this loaded. Let's check it out. Game takes a little bit to get started uh, at the beginning for me. I think it's kind of like that for everybody. This game's in alpha. It's uh, you can get it on Steam for I think it's twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Um, pretty cool game. It's a building survival type game that they're still developing, but from what I've seen, it's going to be pretty amazing. But yeah, just something a little different. Change it up. Show you guys something that I like to do. Someday. It'll load. Trust me. Alright. It's just about started. Just about. One day. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm in my uh, mining ship. Um, cool. Okay. Well, we can do a little mining. Let's turn on my lights. Get some iron, I guess. This is how you mine in Space Engineers. Um, the best way to mine, anyway. You can hand drill everything, but it's a pain in the butt on Realistic because you don't have any kind of inventory. Um, well, you have a 400, uh, volume 400 liters, I think it is, of inventory space, and that's not very much. So yeah, this is just my little mining ship. Um, you'll notice a bunch of waypoints and things like that around. Uh, red means it's hostile, so that business shipment is uh, hostile. I've also got an ore detector on this ship, so I can see where uh, ores are near me, stuff like that. But yeah, the mining physics in this game are friggin' amazing, because you can see the uh, see the terrain deform when you start digging it out. Let's see here. Show you guys the crater real quick. You guys can see it kind of start to form. Um, you can do first, first uh, person view or third player. Or third person, I guess it'd be. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game as far as mining goes and stuff like that. I think I've got enough of whatever. Let's go show you my base. So, um, this was started on the Lone Survivor multiplayer. Or Lo Lone Survivor, what is it? Uh oh. I'm losing that transport. Starting to float away. Anyway, um, yeah, the Lone Survivor map or I guess it'd be scenario. So, what I need to do, and you'll notice all the junk around. Um, that's all my junk I picked up. Some of it is like this. Uh, this one here is uh, kind of a scrap ship. I picked it up and I've been grinding on it and taking some metal and thrusters and stuff like that. Oh, go that way. I need to adjust the gyroscope on this, but. Um, the systems in this game are pretty amazing. Just this ship has um, 
two reactors, a bunch of thrusters. Um, you can set each thruster, like you can set override, show on the HUD, stuff like that. Um, you you have antennas, cockpits, connectors, drills, um, cargo containers. It's really, really uh, detailed. Okay, so here we go. go down a little bit. I'm going to try and connect to that connector. Oh, there we go. You want to go kind of slow because uh, you can break stuff very easily. There we go. Lock it in place with the parking brake or the P button. Um, Hit view. There we go. Okay, so we're all connected up, and you'll see that uh, I'm now connected to the platform and all of its systems. Okay, so what I want to do is go into my inventory, move some of the stone and uh, iron into the refinery. So, the stone there. Uh, we'll take half the iron. Oh, that one's full already. Holy moly. Okay, um, I guess we'll move it to the cargo container, or the second refinery, which is full for the most part. Let's see, we'll move as much as I can into the, into the refineries. There we go. And we'll put the rest in the cargo container, I guess. Um, let's see. Large cargo container, there you are. You can have that stone and that iron and it'll automatically move into the refinery once it's done um i think i'm done mining right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hop out of my ship and I'm gonna fly down and you can play third person here too and zoom in and zoom out whatever you want to do it's a pretty cool game anyway uh Let's take a little tour and show you what I got going on. So, I've got this big ship. It's uh, in the works. I'm still working on the reactor. If I switch to my welder over here, I'm missing uh, reactor components, which I can make, but they're taking some time. Uh, I still need to finish some thrusters around this thing. Um, need some steel tubes for that one. This is a... Well, that's a small thruster. Uh, that one's pointing down. You have to have thrusters pointing in all directions in order to move in all directions. But this ship, um, mainly, it's going to be a welding grinding ship. I want a big welding grinding ship, so... Uh, it's kind of a prototype. I don't know exactly. I might move these pipes uh, onto the inside and connect to this conveyor from the back. That way I can fit another grinder or welder on the bottoms of those and the tops of those. Um, I kind of mirrored it, but I, it's all hand built, so I have to... Uh, it, it takes some time to move that stuff around. So that's my big project I'm working on. Um, the, it looks really cool from the inside. I'll show you guys if I can get in here. No front windshield yet. Or, yeah, it does have a front windshield, I guess. But, as the pilot, you would sit right Shift here. Fuel critical. And, um, yeah, you can look around. It's pretty cool. Um, third person view. It's actually not as big as you'd think. That's what she said. Anyway, okay, out of that. We'll go and check out some other stuff. Um, doors aren't going because I have no uranium in this thing. Because, like I said, I'm working on that reactor. Um, let's see. We will look at... Okay, so. I had a friend on here. And he was building a pretty cool looking little ship. Uh, he didn't get very far. He just hasn't been back to play yet. Um, here's his welder grinder. It's actually a really cool little system. Um, pretty no-nonsense, works great, that's kind of what we all want. Um, 
he actually modified this from an old what 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 did I have? It was a uh, I think it was my old welding ship, but he actually refined it to be a little better. Um, this here, I was planning on making a big box full of uh, grinders, and what that essentially what I would do with this big box of grinders is throw something like this. Uh, broken military transport that I picked up a while ago that we've just been scrapping. Um, I would take this and I would throw it into that grinder thing and get all the materials from it quicker. Oh yeah, just little projects going on. There's a piece of scrap metal just floating around. Um, let's take a look at this thing. This is, uh, I call this boxy. <laughs> This is the work in progress ship. Um, mainly a fighter, but I'm not sure if I can really make it work as a fighter. Um, so it's all black. It's got uh, two missile launchers. That's the gyroscope there. A small reactor right here. Small cargo container. Um, just for ammo, mainly. And you've got a small cockpit here in order to fly this thing around. This thing is dangerous. Um, it tears up my platform when I park it, but you can see it from here, flying around. It's actually, it turns relatively well with one gyroscope. I was pretty impressed with that. Um, still a work in progress. I'm not sure if I'm going to extend it out or what, but just kind of a proof of concept or a prototype. Um, so there's that. Um, no missiles in it. I'm actually firing, but... Nope, nope. Let's see. Rocket launcher. Yep, out of ammo. Okay, so there's that. Um, nothing special. Yet. Let's come out here. Come out. Get, get out. Okay. Um, that thing needs a gravity generator. We've also got this. This is a military transport that's been um, that we've confiscated. Uh, we're we kind of pirate things a lot. Let's take a look in this. Uh, it's basically been gutted on the inside, and uh, that was kind of my fault. Um, I wanted to have a seat to sit in, so I tore up the whole inside. There's a gravity generator just sitting here. Um, yeah, everything basically from up there fell down, and yeah, there's scrap pieces laying everywhere. Hey, what's that? That's actually gravity generator components. Might as well weld those onto this. Maybe that'll help walk around a little. Well, help me walk around a little bit. I know, lady. She yells at you like all the time whenever you pick stuff up. See, like this is a heavy piece. So I can only pick them up like one at a time. Two more. We'll get that welded on. Inventory full. I know, lady. I know. It's okay. Just, just calm down, okay? And there. And there. Now it should say gravity two G's once I get this done down in the bottom right. One thing you want to watch is if you see the bottom left hand of my screen, there's a, it's the third one up, it says energy, and you see it going down. That's because I'm using my welder. Uh, basically your life force runs on energy, and you can save energy by turning off your jetpack, your dampeners, um, there's inertia dampeners, um, and your lights. Your lights are a big one too. Um, but yeah, there's that. Now we have gravity. I can walk around. Uh, cockpit's in here. Big screen. Um, this thing is kind of squirrely to drive around in. It's a military escort that we confiscated. And I, he was driving and I was just tearing stuff up in here. Because, um, yeah, I like to scrap things and it's fun. Oh, what else is there to show you? Um, hmm. Oh, this is a mining carriage we confiscated. Um, you can see there's a red one out there. They are hostile. They have weapons on them that shoot you. Um, sometimes you can get lucky and jump in the cockpit real quick, take it over. 
Oh yeah, a little mining carriage. I use it kind of as a, um, kind of like a tugboat, if you were to think about it that way. Um, cockpit's back here. You can see how much energy this thing has, because I'm not really sure. I haven't driven it in a while, and it's been on, so let's do that. Uh, it's got 86 days fuel time, so that's fine. What I should do is come over here, lock onto this, because the thrusters on this thing are broken. Um, big time on that military transport. So, come out here. See if I can safely hook this thing and bring it back in. This thing is heavy. <laughs> This big military transport. Oh, I just crashed into it. Um, okay. Guess I've got one locked though. So we're gonna see if we can turn it. Oh, turn, turn. I hope I didn't damage this thing too bad. Even if I did, oh well, like I said, it's scrap. And this mining carriage is free, so it's not a big deal. Um, let's see, where am I? Okay, go that way. Do I still okay, I still have rear, still have front. Still have up and down. Okay, we're good. I probably just heard a landing gear or something. So I'm just trying to get it closer to the mod platform. Uh mod stands for Mules of Destiny. Of course that's my clan. Let's see here. Um, no, not lights. I want to go that. Go factions. Mules of Destiny. That's me. Um, there's two people. Um, yeah, this guy's not here no more. But that's okay. Not a big deal. All right. I'm gonna see. I've only got the two thrusters um, right here pushing this thing so it might take a little bit but I don't want to go too fast either because uh, if I go too fast I may not be able to slow it down and I might just leave this hooked just because uh, that's probably good it's not like I can't make it over again good enough okay let's get out of here um, out the back, go. Okay, there's that. Um, hopefully you stop, sir. So, what I did was I hooked it with the landing gears and kind of tore stuff up, I think. Uh, maybe a little. It's not bad. Gotta think two big ships smacking into each other isn't gonna be pretty. That's alright, it works. Oh, I took out a landing gear. There was four. No biggie. Yeah, that's uh, that's my big scrap heap. What else do we got? I think that's about it. But yeah, um, it's a really cool game. You can build all sorts of stuff. Oh wow, I landed a little hard there. Okay. Um, I don't want to respawn ship. I want to appear at the medical room. Respawn. Okay. And there's my dead body. Poor guy. Never stood a chance. Let's see what he's got. What do you got, dude? Got anything? You got a drill and a... Meh. Get out of here. Just just go. Just go. I don't want to see you anymore. You were dumb enough to die, so you can just go off the edge. Bye. <laughs> yep, he's gone. Um, what happened was he hit the gravity and just shot down into space. And once he left the gravity, he will go on forever. Um, kind of a good way to go, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to grab some steel plates here. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the building, how this works. Um, don't mind this big hole here. That was... I tried to park that thing and it just crushed my platform. Anyway, um, okay. So, first of all, you want to go into this uh, menu with G, and I think I'm going to build a new small ship. 
and then it gives you this right here and this is your landing gear um, in order to build the landing gear you're gonna need construction components I, fig I figured of course that's why I grab steel plates right construction components we'll grab a few of those okay now once that's done you can place this now this if you go to your welder um, on the right side it'll say one construction po component added and one steel plate um, I need one large steel tube and one motor. I can weld on it, but it'll only get to the point where the construction component is there. So, one large steel plate and one motor, or tube. One large steel tube. Let's see, I think I have some of those. There's one. And one motor. I could have swore I had a bunch. I might have picked them up. Oh, that's a ship you guys haven't seen either. This one! This is my favorite ship right here. This here is my welder grinder. It's my little everyday uh, work ship. So I'm just going to jump into here. I'll show you what this does here in a minute. I'm just going to get one motor from it. Um, come over here. So you don't have to hand weld everything. That would take forever. I did it again. Dropped on the ground too much. Let's go to the medical medical room and charge up again. Get our health back to normal. Almost there. There we go. Okay. Now we'll come over here and finish this weld. So it added all the components and now you have to weld it. Welding uses a lot of energy and so does hand mining. That's why you want uh, ships that weld and grind and uh, those kind of things. Grinder, you know, works, drill. Yeah, you have hand tools. Okay, let's get in here real quick. Um, another thing you want to decide is what kind of ship you want to build right off the bat. Um, I need, oh, I've got a few plates on me, but I don't really want to use these heavy armor plates here, so I'm going to grab some light armor. Um, I like grabbing slopes and corners and everything, just so, you know, make it look a little better. Not like that ship. That one's kind of boxy. Anyway, um, so what I would do is I would go over to the light armor block, and I'd start placing them. Um, I'm going to put three by three, because this would be a good place to put a cockpit. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay, now, I could hand weld all these. Um, you know, you just come in like this, weld them till they're done. Or, you could build a welding ship, like this one. Um, it's got grinders and welders, but this is by far my favorite ship. And I will show you why. So you'll see at the bottom, one and two, um, you have different items. So I can use the ankle grinder. See this real quick. Or I can switch to the welder and use the welder. Um, works really good, especially if you want to repair a platform that you tried to crash into, basically. Um, this ship doesn't have a lot of speed or anything, and that's mainly because it doesn't really need it. It's more of a utility ship um, for tearing things apart and building things. So, I'm going to get close enough with that welder on the left, and you'll see it just start welding away at whatever's in the vicinity. There we go. Gotta be kind of careful how you move close to things, because you don't want to bump them too hard. Alright, and that looks done. So I'm going to hop out of the ship. I'm going to come over here, and yep, it's done. It's always good to come in with your uh, welder, and just go over the blocks and make sure they're 100% complete, because it'll show you on the right side. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much that. It's how you build. Now, there's a lot of parts you can pick from, and this is unmodded. Um, 
but there are mods for this game that add a bunch of different blocks, different cockpits, um, different kinds of thrusters. There's all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Um, gyroscopes, reactors, gravity generators, spherical gravity generators, artificial mass. Um, this and gravity generators, you can make um, basically uh, like a gravity drive because um, you'll be falling through space due to the gravity, stuff like that. Um, pistons, there's pistons around here somewhere. Let's see, where are you? Ore detectors, antennas, beacons, interior lights, medical room. Um, you need a refinery and a assembler to do things. You can use batteries. You can actually put batteries on your ship and charge it instead of uh, using reactors. Um, window vent. These are I call them vents because there's actually windows here. Um, what else? Warheads, decoys, interior turrets, missile turrets, Gatling turrets. Um, there's control panels, catwalks, all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> you can basically build um, any kind of ship you want. Like this big thing here, I've got. I've been working on it for a while. Um, yeah, just building parts on it as I as I get them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!